Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the stream for today. It is Monday. Start of a new stream week. It is also a new month, so start of a new ladder climb. And uh, it is April Fool's Day, but I have respect for you, my audience. I'm not going to do any dumb jokes to trick you, except for maybe make you incinerate your dust when you play my decks. But uh, yeah, we had a uh, an awesome filming weekend for Commander at Home this weekend. I actually was so busy gaming and hanging out with folks and, uh, you know, just trying to handle that that I forgot to take much in the way of behind the scenes pictures and everything, which I have you know, usually been trying to do, but that said, there's tons of fun episodes that will be coming up from that, uh, but yeah, very, very cool stuff, and uh, we are going to start things off today playing some Elemental Mage, um, so let's take a look at that, boom, as I tie up my hair, because it's kind of everywhere, boop. We got an Ellie in the pup cam. And yeah, we are going to try Elemental Mage. So let's just jump in, let's open the deck tracker, and get going. The reason they wanted to try Elemental Mage, um, there was the buff to Frost Lich Cross Stitch. And uh, the most popular and powerful deck seeming to be. Uh, the uh, Demon Hunter uh, makes Freeze Effects really powerful. And the cross Frost Lich Cross Stitch plus Glacial Shard plus Frost Bolt feels like, you know, a lot that can kind of push things in that direction. I'm just going to keep... Sure. This isn't great. All right, better. And save this to potentially freeze their life still freeze weapon. But this is another thing that can get you, you know, freezing stuff, which is nice. Get him! We've picked up pace. Today, today, killer plays OGK combo decks. Yeah, there's that's my that's my April Fools. Yeah. Mm hmm. Sure. All right. Potentially just Gladiator and draw three next turn. We'll see what they got. Coin weapon? Coin hell yeah. Weapon. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that this revenant frees you the next swing so this could potentially generate a frost bolt oh yeah we have lots of frost effects etc okay I think we're just going to go ahead and Gladiator for the draw three here. Okay. Do I just like face with everything? I think I do. I don't think there's really much value in like double value trading that guy because I can't protect like this from the weapon we're just going face mm, 
Okay. Five five. We gotta have to kill this guy. Um. All right, you hit here. And I think it's just. You and a giant? Yeah. They just used a Grime Walker. Okay, second Grime Walker. Rude. Sure. So this draws either uh, Frostbolt or, uh, eh, okay. Kind of just depends on what that does. Just don't AoE me, please. Your own guy. Hmm. Ooh, thank you. Okay, that went great. So they are dead to whatever we get off of Watercolor Artist after the 15 damage from these guys. I'm just playing the one copy of Surger right now because of what the metagame looks like, but it is... I also just have so many 4-drops because I'm playing Watercolor Artist and Frostless Cross Stitch that I didn't want to overload on them, but it's a very powerful card when it comes down against someone who can't kill it. That's for sure. Um, against Hunter. Hello there. I love a little Enjoy the festivities. Boop. No one's going to believe this. Let's do this. Hi, Oko. Okay, those are those are great because they're really vulnerable to tainted remnant. Kill them all! Yes! 
Get them. Kaboom. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we're going to do this. Cross, let's cross stitch this guy. Hit your face. Coin Firefly. Mm-hmm. A lot of spiders. Okay. Let's see where those go. Didn't kill anything, so that's good. Um. This is definitely happening. This is definitely happening. Um. Sure. It's just so many stats. They have Bunny Hopper here, or like they, they need like Bunny Hopper and uh, uh, Saddle Up, basically. Mm -hmm. We also have the burn from this. This draws Frostbolt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Bunny Stomper can clear one more and they're not dead on board, but they died with burn. All right. Well, elementaling people, let's go. This, this, I mean, obviously, like we played two games, but it's felt kind of sweet. Um, we will just keep a Firefly. I'll look in the rest. Can I play Shaman? I've been playing a lot of Shaman lately. But we're playing this today. Or at least for now. There are a lot of Shaman games uh, that you can watch on YouTube. <sighs> yep. The Archivist into Remnant is just such a beating. So, we're going to do this, because we don't want any leftover bodies that can potentially try and kill this guy easily. Okay, fine. Rude, but fine. Okay, get him. So they could have ooh, coin five corpse uh, ride. Yep, oh, that's a pretty big fellow. Um. Okay, let's do this. Breeze. You. Play Flame Elemental. Play Azurite Giant. And then clear the 8-8. Eight, eight. 
and they have no corpses now. They could have, like, Grimewalker hero power, which would clear the 9-9. Nine -nine. This is a draw four. So, but yeah, again, no corpses, so they can't, like, play another corpse bride to get in the way. Um, Grimewalker is by far their best card here. Like, we have this huge 9-9, nine so they can't even... That's fine. Okay. Um. Let's draw four. All right, I will flame geyser this. Double tap it, freeze this guy, nine you. So, I mean, they have plus two, plus two, two, yep. Ooh, the swarm guard, okay, swarm guard's good. Okay. Okay, um, let's do bump, freeze thing, um, and then, yeah, I think we just do this. Um, I'm just debating whether I want to frostbolt the stitch giant. Yeah, let's frostbolt the stitch giant and say go. You're such a chicken. Come say hi to Ashley. You love Ashley. Oh my. Wanna go say hi? Come say hi to Ashley. Oh. Like, we have two Snow Flurries in hand, which can generate a lot of potentially strong stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, no! Oh, yeah, that sucks. Okay. That is very unfortunate. Okay. Uh, let's play a Snow Flurry. Let's see what we get. All right, well, we'll play... Hmm. I guess let's synthesize. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna Soul Freeze play this. I think I might play do I wanna play the cryo too, just get the thing. I might that might not matter. I think I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna play this guy. The bonus effect could be really sweet. We are back to 30, which is unfortunate. We did so much damage to them, and then the, the hound. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Annoying. So this draws Frostbolt or Cross Stitch. I'm going to start here. Okay. Um, This one's pretty bad. This could be good. We could play that there.
Okay. Ooh, that guy got Rush. Okay, that actually makes things interesting. I can Frostbolt you. Rush into this. Cryo this. And then just, this is going to hit you for eight, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Like, they can kill this with these two now. My 8-8 my eight eight getting poisonous is kind of funny. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay, that's annoying. Yeah, we don't like that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. There are not many spells. Um... You know what? Yeah. I guess we'll just blizzard you. My other option is like... Yeah, we'll just blizzard you. Chill vibes is going to be weak. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Let's see any there. Can I get another blizzard? That would be cool. Oh, I did. Um, sure. Interesting. Hmm. Um, this no longer draws anything. I've drawn all of my spells. What do you got for me? Geode. Um, okay. Okay. Boom. Hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Not a good sign at all. Hi, buddy. Ugh. Yeah. That, unfortunately, is the end. This draws nothing. Womp womp. Yeah, the Hollow Hound got me real good, and then them having CNE, like, we just weren't able to close things out. Like, the, the, the fact that they gained, like, 20 life from Hollow Hound made our 
aggro plan really suck, and then they had the, you know, the better long game. Where's Scar and Unidum? In uh, a different class. All right. Let us celebrate um, new beginning. We'll keep these against the warrior. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Boop. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Where are you going? Can I get down? There you go. Are you just... You, you literally just try and get down and then want to come back. Oko. You got to learn to make up your mind, buddy. <laughs> Who did your home squad right? I have a rogue rack. Mysterious. What is your wisdom? Hmm. Okay. You only see that in the Badlands. Hmm. All right. We didn't want to attack and trigger like explosive like they actually had or bait and switch. Do you have this in a bigger size? All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Point this. something that turn no get our free zone Execute. Okay, this is a Highlander deck. Just a straight up execute. Okay. This sets up a big gladiator for four cards. They could aftershock us here. Um, check yourself. Thanks for the prime sub. Much, much appreciated. Trial by fire. Uh, here comes Brawl. 
Okay. Yup. Okay. We are going to draw four with this. Boop. Let's go. I wish this thing had, had like access to like more reasonable burn. I miss Frozen Touch with this deck, though. Obviously, Frostbolt's pretty sick. The Cross Stitch is a nice tempo card, but like isn't a great finisher card. You do have the uh, the Tainted Remnants, which are kind of sweet. I wonder if it's worth playing like Mesa Dune in this deck, hitting. Watercolor Artist, Snow Flurry, Tainted Remnant, Gladiator, Glacial Shard. There's good hits. Yep. Do not have Glacial Shard in hand. How perplexing. Um. Hmm. I'm going to do this. And hope that we kill both of those. Because if I don't ping it first, and this dies and this doesn't die, it gets plus one, plus one. So I think the ping first is pretty important to ensure that that doesn't happen. Yeah, I can see playing Fireball Molten Rune in this deck, but you really want, like, the tempo from, this like, the dudes. I had uh, Jaina's Gift in the deck before I had Cross Stitch. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Much to I'm going to do this into this into this do this yeah we'll do this sure Alright. They could obviously like Reno us. They've already used the Garrosh gift into Brawl. And they've used Trial by Fire. So here we're just trying to like, you know, establish as much as we can. Damage wise. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Like, we assume that this gets them Bran. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Alright. 
So they they could like Bran into uh, double uh, double Tendi. Hmm. This draws Frostbolt because we already have both of the cross stitches. We do. We can play this to get. Oh, that was gonna be bash into sanitize. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. I'm doing this. They've already used Aftershocks, Sanitize, Brawl. I want to play the Gyre Worm to get more in play for this. Uh huh. Here they come. Tendy, Tendy, slam your own guy. Rude. Wait, what? oh, that was the Void Scripture casting. I was like, huh? It's annoying. Okay. It does give me the possibility of them to attack into it, this. Uh huh. They do have the, uh, the Felon Flames in their hand. I had another Tandy. Uh, they actually hit the AoE on the Tandy. Okay, well that's great. Um, I have exactly one Frostbolt left in my deck for this. All right, and then we do play this to draw the Frostbolt. I mean, they have one card, right? Like, they've already played their Eye of Chaos. Oh, no! Not Pan Manager! <laughs> oh, my God! That's the literal best card. That goes to get the other Eye of Chaos and another Tendi. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, just hit... They have seven, eight. Just hit terrible things. Uh-huh. They hadn't gotten a taunt. Oh, and they got a rush minion too. They got a taunt minion and a rush minion. Okay, I'm dead. Uh huh. Cool. Oh, boy. No Scar. Uh, if you could fit Scar into this deck, I'd be impressed, considering it's in a different class. Man. 
They were out of everything. They just drew ETC in the game. Just ended on the spot. So that's cool. We've created a temporal anomaly. Mm -hmm. I wish they'd, they'd buff Sunset Volley to 9 mana to stop that from working, because it's just really stupid. It's just like, oh look, I just do the same thing over and over and you die. It's basically just Bran Astalor, except with extra steps. Celebrate a new beginning. A rogue. Hello there. All right. Enjoying the festivities? One dose solves any problem. Boop. Job done. Wouldn't do that completely remove Tendril decks from the game. I do not think that, that Tendril decks should be top tier competitive decks. I think that they should be, those sort of things should be, hey, this is about like, you want to play a bunch of wild, wacky stuff. Not, this is the best thing that you can you know, be doing my luck. Let's play Archivist this turn so we can play Giant next turn. Is someone there? Mm -hmm. Like I actually think one of the one of the things that's really kind of important for people to recognize, like the number of people who are like, who will say, "Ooh, do I want to do that instead of the giant?" Yeah, probably. But like I, I think that the easiest like solution is you know to that is to like like I think the 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 attendees like having, you know, like a way to end the game is fine. Attendees being like fifty fifty to be Astalor basically is not fine. I like and again, it's not really a matter of like what the the power level of the deck is. It's about the experience the deck creates. The deck being like, hey, this is like you know generating you know, the, the exact same experience over and over and over and over and over in like a, you know, like really repetitive way that you can't interact with is just not very fun. Wow. 
I also think that mage, as an actual class, can use buffs. So making it into, uh, making the thing into a, uh, uh, yeah. Making the the spell into a nine drop makes mage better, and giving them a nine drop for uh, orb, while reducing, you know, the like repetitive play pattern of just tendy 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 tendy. Nope, nobody there. Like I think it kind of does multiple things. Okay. Do you need anything? Uh, no, don't think so. Is someone there? No, no. So they can play some uh, Clockwork Giants with Triple Gatekeeper here, but we just have so much damage in play. They got Taunt. Taunt potentially saves them here. Um, we have 11, 12, 13. Oh no, they, they actually still exactly die because we just do. Boop. I don't think Tendi's looping back is fun. I think if you build up, you should get the, the, the benefit of having built up to it. I just think what it actually built up to should not just be 50 50 on nuking your opponent to death. Which isn't really a 50-50 because you just keep doing it. Like there needs there needs to be more variance in what you actually hit at 10. Like I think the easiest immediate solution is make Sunset Volley 9. It is kind of silly that Tendi just has just has the one thing at 10 then, but it also makes like it makes Mage better, Mage needs to be better, and it, it removes the like, you know, hey, this is all my deck does at a certain point play pattern of the uh the Tendies. How do you do? Hello there. Enjoying the festivity? Again, it's not about the stats. It's very easy for people to get caught up in, like, you know, obsessing over, like, well, the stats say this. It's a matter of, of like, play pattern and, and, you know, gameplay experience rather than just what the stats say. It's very easy to get, you know caught up in being like, well, it's all about numbers, when it really isn't. Um, I'm just going to coin artist. And we were hoping for, for this. Unfortunate. One dose solves any problem. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Boom. Slime. Get him. Uh, 
Alright. Also rude. Well, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Free Froth Bolt chilling. It's a weird card in that deck. I wonder if it's like a Highlander deck or something. Sets up a draw five from this next turn. did get our our freezing thing on frozen oh no just kidding we didn't get our freezing thing on frozen wow they took the one that could attack scumbag all right we'll draw five um Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, perplexing. All right, we're going to do you. I'm going to shoot this guy, so we spend the mana and attack with any of those guys. Dies. Freeze your face. I don't think there's been an announcement as to when Battlegrounds Duos is going to be released. They had said, like, early 2024, and it's now early 2024, so... Take a good look. You ain't never oh, come on! Frost Strike into that. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I die. Symbol of death. Uh huh. Double Resca, no problem. We were fine with the discovered might of Menethil, but the discovered Resca, that's going too far. It's bought them so much time. Much to ponder. Yeah, we're dead. The day is yours. <laughs> womp a womp.
Um, let's mulligan all of this. Give me ones. Give me. Uh, the uh, Aqua Archivist. Hello there. Enjoy well, this hand is clunky. Okay, well, we can kill out the Rolling Stone. Die, Totem, die. Okay, this looks to be elemental. Or not elemental, uh... Nature, burn. I've definitely seen Nature Shaman post nerfs. It can still very, very easily kill you. <laughs> it's weird that I haven't seen any Demon Hunter when I, I specifically built this deck because I wanted to try freezing Demon Hunters. Um, the pop up bug's doing a lot of work here, too. Hmm. I think I'm doing this. Other options like this freeze this. This becomes free next turn. I could also just freeze and play this and just get, but then, yeah, I think I'd rather kill this. I think I am doing, eh. now let's do this this way. Get the extra discount on this, get the guy there too. There's a flash of lightning. Okay, you're trying to get down, or you're just, you're just sitting here. Just chilling. So. Um. I think we're just killing everything.
I think I just get this guy killed. And I'm just gonna play a giant. Because if they do, like, crash or thunder me, I'd much rather have this, these two and play them, like, a 2-1 and a bunch of guys from this. Uh, Yakadelphia, thank you much for the Prime Sub. Also, I see a treat redeem. Here's treats, pups. Look at the treats for you. I smell gold Look at the treats for you. Waters. Mm. Treats for pups. Okay, well, a flash of lightning and it didn't really do much. Let's snow flurry. Um, so this is either Frostbolt or Cross Stitch. I guess it could be Synthesize or Flame Geyser. Hmm. We could also just freeze this, kill this, go faced, and chill vibes. That might be better. Okay. Alright. Uh, I do not know what dream bones are. Yeah, I could have healed this. Whatever. Uh huh. Yep. Spell power double crab. Sure. I don't want to just play both of these. I'll just play this into this. Yeah. was a lot of their burn already. Who knows, maybe they just have a ton more. Another crash. Okay, triple crash of thunder. Yep. Could give me blizzard. Nice. Would love to chill vibes there, but how's the finger? It's I mean it's better a lot better than it was, but it still has, you know, still has healing to do. I have my follow up uh, on Friday for it. They play both of their real Clash of Thunders, one of their real Lightning Bolts, one of their real Pop-Up Books, and one of their Lightning Reflexes. We're going to play this to look for more, like, healing style stuff. Cold Feet Ice Trap. I am just going to play both of these, I think.
I've already played both of their novice zappers. Does it even matter? Maybe that one doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to play this. All right. We have the ice trap up. Mm -hmm. Do they just have... Okay. Three life. Go with the flow. Well, it's five lightning bolts later. Turn you into a water elemental. Ooh, yeah. So yeah, five lightning bolts, three crash of thunders. We managed to survive. The uh, the sweetened snow flurries were great there, giving us you know healing and uh, delaying stuff. Felt good. Celebrate a new beginning. Okay. Uh, we'll mulligan all this. Boop. One dose solves any problem. And boop. Here is the drop. We've we've actually found a demon hunter at long last. Uh, I don't have any of my I have this. But I don't have my other freeze effects. Glacial shard me, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm going to do this actually because I want to be able to play this next turn and then this plus this the following turn, hopefully. Slowing down their Umpire's Grasp is really nice, though. We could also find uh, the other Glacial Shard or a Frostbolt. This is, like again, like kind of the point of um, this build direction that we're going with is... Okay. Didn't want to waste their mana. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this. All right. So, really, why would you hit that guy and not this guy? You get your six five. Isn't it better to kill the two power guy? Because now I can actually cross stitch this guy. Oh, that was a snap pick. Uh huh. We don't like seeing that. Are they gonna fell in flames?
Yep. Really? In what? Okay, they're trying. Oh, zero cost mag paradigm because of that. Okay, that was gross. All right. Um. The zero cost mag theradon. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. So they still have the uh, three cost six five. It's like the only thing that does anything here, so we'll play it. Mm hmm. Oh boy. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty doomed. The turn four Magtheridon. Okay, I don't know if there's enough things that are going to be dying for this, but it feels like it's got to be my best hope. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm, a decent number of things that are going to be dying, though. They still have their five cost guy, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that guy will trigger first, so this guy won't fight them. Is this really better than nothing? We are one off for this guy because of that. Because of eight. Alright. That toy was made just for me. Uh huh. Oh boy. There are so many ways this can go wrong. That's one of them. Give me this guy. Cool. Okay, I die. Womp womp. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, the they had like the perfect draw and perfect hits there with uh, the turn four one cost mag Theridan and being able to clear my guys so I couldn't even deal with their six five in play. Alright, um... We'll try it. Hello there. This may be bad. Enjoying the festivities? But I want to try it. Marvelous display. Whoop. Uh huh. Glacial shard, please. Glacial shard, please. Yep. Well, we're doing this. Um, I'm gonna play that because this lets us potentially play this into a draw on, like, Frostbolt or something. Um, and also, you know, we don't want to, just, like, play a bunch of these guys out and just have them make their in us. Mysterious what is your wisdom? Uh-huh. Hidden meaning me. Good. Alright, well. They have the one cost window shopper in hand still. I'm the perfect toy for you. Oh look, a one cost Mac Theridan again. Bell and Flames hit my guy. Yep. Yep. Why are you... 
Why would you do that to this when I have this and you have this? Should I mean I, I can see shooting face, but shooting this guy over this guy makes I guess you know. I mean, it does. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Well, this flips up. They can still red card it or whatever, but. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. I do not have many lives. Five. Mm hmm. Let's draw four. Um. Okay, actually, I think I have to do this. They've already played their metamorphosis. They've already played going down swinging. Uh huh. Let's draw the weapon. We know that they have a a dude from Drone Reconstructor. Okay. So I have uh what seventeen on board. I have no way to find just lethal here. Um, seventeen. Plus seven, 24. Actually, if this draws Tainted Remnant, they die, right? Because we have 17 on board, and the other seven would be 24. Yeah, so we will play this to draw three in case we hit Tainted Remnant. There's Frostbolt, which is just shy of lethal. We're one mana off. Okay. I'm I'm just like trying to avoid any damage. Just keep freezing them. Funny thing is, headless horseman kills me because it unfreezes them. They don't typically play it, but. Uh huh. Okay. Magtheridon doesn't kill me. Two Magtheridons would kill me, but they can't get two Magtheridons. Could you not have gotten Lethal of the Frost Lich? You mean this? I didn't have mana, as I explained. I was... I was... Uh, this does three damage. It's, it used to be four damage. Three damage now, though. Woo! That was a precarious one. One cost Mag Ferritin and still one. Praise freezes.
versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Let us celebrate a new beginning. Um, I'm going to mulligan everything. Am I still playing Magic? I have a commander show called Commander at Home. You should check it out. Exclamation point, exclamation point Commander at Home. A rock, rude. One dose solves any problem. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to do this. Okay. Get him. Which is Power Fist from Fallout. I don't know that I certainly don't recognize that card by name. Fine, I won't play any any uh things this turn. Um I'm just gonna hit you and play a surger for five guys. Hopefully they don't they're not like a randomly a prismatic beam deck. Okay, well, that's definitely a, a less expensive Zilliax, given the circumstances. <laughs> oh, what? Zilliax Consecration? What the hell? Well, that was horrible for me. Huh. So they're probably a Highlander deck if they're playing randomly playing Consecration. How perplexing. All right. Um, Whisper, thanks for the twenty-eight months. Welcome back. Eh. Rude. This all sucks.
Uh huh. Rude. Strong dislike. I'm going to start here. for doing this. Let's look, I get over that consecration. Ziliac's consecration got me so good. Hmm. Mm hmm. So this is the draw five that immediately turns this on. For duty. I wonder if my deck needs that elemental who just like triple random blasts. He might be better than some of the stuff that we're playing right now. Overflow Surger has felt medium at best. Okay. We're going to draw five and flip our guy up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> We're one mana off of being able to, like, kill as many things as I want. We'll kill you. Save that for when we have mana. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Cold feet? We have been consecrationed and cold feeted. What is this nonsense? Uh-huh. You got one damage, buddy? Sure. What the hell happened there? 
Consecration and Cold Feet just in their deck. All right. You got me. I do think I want to try the, the four cost elemental dude for more like elemental board control. Let's try it. There's like the four cost guy. He's four cost, right? Yeah, this dude. Let's try this. Let's cut Serger. And maybe cut... I'm kind of have to cut Flame Geyser, given the... Frostbolt and Cross Stitch. My deck feels like it's really heavy on fours, though. Let's try it. Celebrate a new beginning. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll keep these. Boop. Job done. Well, one of the things about the trickster too is it can just be burned to kill someone. So it's not just a matter of, uh, of you know, the AO like the AOE dude or like trying to kill minions. Like the trickster doubles as as burn to finish people off, which is like pretty important. Boom. We don't draw from it, but I want this to be able to buff something and not just die to this. Shiny. My shiny. Yeah. Sure. All right. Buffs, 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 buffs. They have two Kajamites, though, so it's pretty likely that they can kill our guy. Don't rock me, bro. Or Heart Blossom. I want you to get... Okay. Fortunately, that can no longer get, like, Bone Spike. That... Hmm. Rude. Not dead yet. Let's get them two. Okay. Um. Draw. Firefly. Firefly. Stats. 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 All right. So they have a two-cost treasure in hand, as well as two. Kajamite creation cards. Hello. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, hi. Mwah. Mwah. You're elementaling people. Yeah? Yeah. Are, are you winning? Mm, sometimes. Okay. Living stone. Sure. And jam session. Hmm. Okay, that sucked. Um. That worked up reasonably well. I don't even jump back. 
I wish they got a tutu, but you know, can't win them all. Ellie had to be on guard for two whole days, huh? Which would apple? Okay. Beatboxer. All right. Um. Well. We're going to freeze this guy, play an Archivist, go face for two. This potentially sets up a better Snow Flurry next turn. Oh, treats. Don't give me treats. Oh, there was just a tree redeem. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, it was a full redeem. Sorry, guys. I was being crumbs then. Hmm? I was giving them little oh. chunks. I was doing non tree redeem. <laughs> Voltron? Oh. Uh, well, okay. New card, Pog Champ. We'll play it. Perfect. Cross stitch you. Get my guy. Hit you. Base, base. Player synthesize. All right. Well, that guy was real good there. And like I said, that was one of the things that we were we were trying to um, you know figure out ways to to manage is you know a finishers b board control, and this is seems like it's reasonably helpful for for both those things. So hey, Ek, how you doing? Hmm. Um. Hit you, hit you, hit you. Freeze you. Spider. Creeper Archivist. Feels like a pretty difficult board for them to deal with. They've played two Kajimite creations and two shovels, so it seems pretty unlikely they're renoing. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they can get their scorpion. Filming did go quite well. Got a lot of fun games. Okay. So... Don't wrath me, bro. Fan. Not a wrath. Belira's gift. Fan again? Okay. It's not leaving me with that much damage left. Um, that draws a lot of cards. So I have five, six. If this draws double burn, they die. Yeah. I, looks like it drew no burn. Um...
probably want to have more mana to use this. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to play this. We, we could just hit like... Okay, there is a Frostbolt. I'm going to Frostbolt their face. Okay, so we have we have lethal with just the cross stitch potentially next turn. This costs four and does three. We did not have lethal. The rehydrate there. Yeah. happening here. Okay. Uh-huh. We'll just have the one attacker. And we still got him. Boom! So the, the triple with Trickster was really good that game. So I feel pretty happy about that inclusion so far, at least. Oops, no, what are you talking about? For what? I don't know what I clicked. I liked the stream and so should you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the support. Okay, um, Demon Hunter. I'm going to keep the Frostbolt against Demon Hunter. All right. Hello. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Name those scarves. Any problem? Okay. Hmm. The Minecraft Cruiser is pretty sweet. Hey, Arin. Thank you for the 20 months. And uh, Millieways X. Thanks for the kind words about command Commander at Home. We're having a lot of fun with it, so. All right, let's play the statue. Yeah. Yep. Reality. Freeze your face. Haha. -ha. Delays their umpire's grasp. We're very much in the market for uh, Glacial Shard. Is this really sure. I do think it's probably a good idea for the weapon to get nerfed. Like, this does two of the most powerful things in the game, which are 
not only like draw a card, but tutor for a card and cost reduction. Those are just fundamentally two of the most powerful things that you can be doing. Um, I think it's safer to do because this hmm, this is more likely yeah I am just going to go ahead and coin the remnant here Take a bunch of damage. So, uh, the watercolor artist will draw me a card, which will uh, set up the statue as well, which is nice. Uh, that's horrible for me. Jesus. Ugh. I mean, we can kill it, but still obnoxious. Mm-hmm. So they still have the, uh, the window shopper on one. I'm the perfect toy for you. Yep. Yep. Let me hear my playlist. Mm -hmm. I assume there's a, you know, uh, uh, okay. Time grows short. I wouldn't just use that, that guy if you're gonna. Uh-huh. Well... You hit face and the stealth guy. Alright, I'm gonna freeze this guy. Uh-huh. That toy was made just oh boy, second window shopper. Yeah, I mean, they hit bassist off the, off the first one to be, play it for one, and then a one-cost mag Theridin, which is just disgusting. One dose solves any problem. Yup. Hey, right on time with the the glacial shard, which I wanted to freeze the umpire's grass a million years ago, but never had the opportunity to. Uh, I think Therizane would be terrible in this deck. The metagame is not really one that is conducive to Therizane. Uh, yeah, we die. The day is yours. Power. They had like pretty much perfect window shoppers there, unfortunately. Celebrate a new beginning. All right. I will just keep a synthesize against Warrior. Hi 
Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Ooh. Value. Ooh, that's a nice random one. Oh, yeah. so much value here we know that they have a forged card hmm. like I want to play watercolor artist Overdraw if I don't play something, then it's a little bit awkward. I'm just going to nuke you? No, that seems so bad. Let's just do this. Okay. doing this. I wonder, hmm. Yep. Rude. Burns a card, but it draws my million cards. I don't really see a great way to get around any of this, unfortunately. Hmm. All right. Not terribly exciting, but at least we got rid of it. I wonder, I'm kind of tempted to try. Like a more. Especially considering I've cut the. The four drop. I'm curious to, like, try a... So annoying. Um... Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm curious to try a... Thank you. 
a more like controlling version of this because there's a lot of good utility elementals i don't feel like i feel like against Sure. Rude. Ooh. But I was gonna say, like, I wonder if I can make a, a deck that's like using, Cause, like, Snow Flurry, Watercolor Artist, are both like just really good like value cards. Tade Rebn is obviously good at like nuking people, but I wonder if I can build like a deck that actually uses Mesa Dune well with with the utility ones. Because there's the Freeze guy too, who seems quite powerful to me as well. I wonder what that deck looks like. Hmm. Much to ponder. This makes Gladiator draw five next turn. watercolor art. Oh, I was thinking they were getting Brawl. Sure. Um... Yep. Okay. I will Frostbolt your face. Draw five. Um, much to ponder. Sure. Get him. But yeah, like, if we have... Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm rooting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. Where's your bonus effect? Oh, it got Rush. Cool. Uh, no thanks. 
Mwah. Um, that sounds like my entire deck. I'm going to Frostbolt your face. We're going to play the artist. We're going to Frost Lich Cross Stitch this guy. And kill this guy. Mm-hmm. Sure. They did have a Garrosh's gift for Brawl there. Much to ponder. I feel like without um without frozen touch beating stuff like warrior is just super super hard. No spells left in my deck. Order because we want to get the snow flurry max mana. This is pretty much unwinnable. None of my cards do anything anymore. But yeah, come on, let's try, let's try that. Let's try like, aha, destroy him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're dead. Oops, I meant to click concede, not quit. Womp womp. Alright, so let's try, like I mentioned. What does this look like if this isn't like a if this is more of a like controlling deck that uses the elementals? Like like I think that maybe I can use Cryo also gives it, yeah, playing, okay, let's try this. We're going to cut 
all of the chief elements of the Glacial Shard. Okay. We're gonna play Mesa Dune. We're gonna play the Excavate cards. This also gives us more freezes with Cryo, which is really nice. Oops. There's so many things that cost four mana now. Um, you're a good elemental for that too. Oh yeah, there's the five cost guy, the sleet skater. This deck probably needs like more board control since it's slower. Maybe this just wants Infinitize. Let's just try it like this with Infinitize. Alright. This feels interesting. Okay. Celeste versus Kera. Victory or death. Let us celebrate a new beginning. Okay. Uh, warrior. I'm gonna mulligan all of this. For... Man, maybe I, maybe I keep. No, I feel like I need more proactive stuff than these. Alright. Point out, upgrading our cards to gold, because they look cooler. That is the entirety of the answer. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Ooh. Astonishing. Ow. Hmm. Deck we recommend for a returning player who wants to play standard? Hmm. I mean, it really, like, you can really play just about anything. There's a lot of, a lot of good decks. A lot of, like, you know, Solid decks. I do think Demon Hunter is probably the best deck right now. Mm. I'm just going to play this and draw a card. What if I should just be keeping cryos in my opening hand just because they advance to these guys? Sure. Blast ya. So anyway, I started blasting. Oh boy. Oh cool. Sure, why not? Everyone's favorite. I submit you. Well,
Uh, the Commander Home filming went great. A lot of fun games with some great guests. Very stoked to uh, get the get the episodes out to you all. Okay. Um. Let's sleet skater your guy. Cryo prez your face. Actually, what am I doing? I have that. Oops. That's eh, fine. We should cry prez that guy. I was forgetting that I had this in play. It's fine. A rock! Do this. Well, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't play an elemental, so it would turn off this. Actually, play this. The no, because then yeah, that's fine. We'll play the cobalt miner. We'll play researcher. Okay, we'll freeze this guy, and we'll play this guy. As they go. Okay. He is dead. You've slain him. Congratulations. Double up on that, unfortunately. Oh, I do see a treat redeem. Here you go, pop. I'm not a monster. I'll give him the bow. At least a piece of treat. I must choose. Get exploded. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. How perplexing. What kind of stink? Eh. Oops. Okay, let's frost bolt your face.
I'll just play this, get rid of her small guys for their cleave effect in case. I guess they can just Reno anyway, but... Uh... Yep. Huh. It's kind of interesting. I don't really have a great way to like deal with this, but all right. I'm at a lot of ha a lot of health myself. Yeah. They just, they just hit a Calicos. Sure, man. I wonder if my deck wants Calicos. It probably does. Much to ponder. I don't know what you got for me, man. Blizzard? Eh. Alright, how about you? Well, let's blow up these guys. You burn some, you burn some. You killed nothing. Good day, sir. Um, Okay. Two damage kills me. The fact that they had a Caligos and just got to cast free spells was, uh, was a little much as well. Uh huh. I didn't intentionally pursue leadership, but I find it quite mm -hmm. I'm dead. Bash my face. I'm not dead. Okay. So here we go. You give me a You 
You're not Yogg. Okay, I'm dead. The day is yours. All right, so I think I need. I do. I mean, one of my concerns was like, hey, does this can this deck like you know, this deck like manage without like big AOE? What are those, what are my options? I do think I want Calico. So it's like a like a big high end thing. Um. Does Gladiator just stink in this deck? It seems medium. I have like a lot of value generation. I think I think I just want like the actual utility stuff rather than just Gladiator. Maybe I do want my own Yogg. Let's try it. We'll mulligan all this. Celebrate a new beginning. Yeah. Hello there. Enjoy the festivities. All right. Yeah, I don't think this deck wants Khadgar. Maybe it does. It could be good. Ooh, I was not expecting this. Okay. It does make this better. Alright. Can Void Scripture into Infinitize? Hopefully hit something good with Void Scripture. It's completely safe. Just don't Were you just kill. playing it? I haven't seen Sludge Warlock in so long. Alright. Okay. Okay. I'm just going ahead and cross stitching this guy, getting myself a water elemental and killing their guy. That's bad for me, because they can just kill this with the sludges. It's weird that they chose to attack it, frankly. Um... Let's do this. Okay. Uh, Sabrock! Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Ew. Sure. 
Sure makes Remnant worse into that. Jesus. Um reality woven. I guess eh. Get him! Great. I'm doomed. The day is yours. Yeah, I think that there's this deck right now has too much. Like Remnant's probably bad. Um, against. Like with how this is set up, like I think that that I want it to be. I still need to just be more controlling. We do need to end the game somehow. Um, I think maybe we want to just try playing star power. Like this, still hitting like high value things like this, this, these. Like being able to mace dune remnant is obviously insane against something like. Um, Hey, Zakad, Utah. Thank you very much for the cheer. What other things are there? Yeah. Let's try this. Star Puzzle is just a powerful clear against, um, uh, against Demon Hunter. Certainly more reliable. Celeste versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Let us celebrate a new beginning. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? I think a lot of the druid decks here, like Let hero power decks, yep, I where I, I care about getting armor. The freeze effects ought to be pretty good against them, fortunately. doing this because I'm looking to cast cross stitch next turn they pipered it's gonna be innervate into sky mother I actually was thinking of, of trying to build a uh, sky mother deck it does seem kind of fun um Do this. We might just cross stitch it, but nature speaks. Uh huh. They could get a one cost, theoretically a one cost thing from that. It's kind of sick. Um.
All right, let's do another artificer and to cross stitch this. Get one of these guys. So I'm at 40, which makes hero power me down substantially harder. Okay, so they are at least chosen next turn. I'm gonna Mesa Dune. Two watercolor artists. That's actually kind of sick. That's two different draw draw frost spells. We still have two cryo prezes. Um a frost bolt and a frostless cross stitch available for that. I should change the name of this deck. What? Are you serious? What? Sonya. Into this, resurrecting the... Oh my god, that's insane. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. What the... This is disgusting. Uh huh. Well, I mean, we obviously have to kill Sonya, so. Um, doesn't really seem worth casting here. We're going to play a watercolor artist. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. We all exist in harmony. Yep. Mm hmm. That's a good one. Maybe I should have been this different order. I don't think it matters too much. All right. So I am in the market of freezing their face as much as possible. The uh, star power coming in real clutch there. Mm hmm. Sure. Mm hmm.
Um. Bunch of stuff they just got back. We're gonna do this and frost bolt their face. Job done. I'm gonna cue this guy to finish the kill Geppetto quest. <laughs> this guy's deck actually looks a lot like one that I was uh, messing around with. Mm hmm Seven cost cat. Yep. Another snap. Hmm. Um Sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll frostbolt you, cryo preservation you. Horn researcher. Attack you. I'm just playing Freeze Face Mage. I'm not actually Freeze Mage, I'm just Freeze Face Mage. Rude. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Am I just yog making their guys fight? I think so. I guess we cry your face first. Yeah. power hero power i only have one freeze left in my hand we do have this though um there are no there's one more freeze in my deck mm-hmm Uh, this guy can get the ability to uh, freeze face. Like, this can find uh, Frostbolt or Cryoprez. Oh, goes snoring so hard. Okay, so that gives me one of those, which is very interesting, actually, especially with the movements in my deck. Mm-hmm. Rude. Okay. 
Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to skeleton crew into this Golgoneth. Um, okay. I can cryopress their face and play this. I guess we play this first. Eh. Um. Yeah. Guy. I'm sure, we'll get some coins. Alright. That is currently our last freeze in hand. This will copy this currently? Hmm, that's rude. Okay. Let's snow flurry. Give me more freezes. Blizzard freezes their guys, but not their face. I do have barrier. Um... What are the I do have a I have a shard, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna play the miner. And we'll gatekeep. Apparently we got some of these back. Oh. Hmm. Rude. Eh. Well, I'm at effectively thirty four. They could ha they could kill me. Um, because they could have the guy who makes your thing trigger twice, and uh, the guy who resets your hero power. So they could they could attack me for like forty for this turn, if they have both of those. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, that was not those. 11 power hero power. Yep. Alright. They killed one of my guys. Well... Um, do I have no, no? Oh, this is a mech. Sure. Yes. Alright, and we have a uh, a glacial shard as well. Alright. 
It must feel really awful to be playing Hero Power Druid and run into all Freeze Mage. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can magnetize on a full board as of like quite a while ago actually. I want to say it's like almost a year ago at this point they made that change. I think it was around when they uh, introduced last year's core set. There's your therazine. I feel like mine's better. Nice. 12, 12 quill bores. Okay. Um, so we can clear with six to everything pretty easily. So Um, freeze you, draw six. Geode go. Okay. Rod, oh, Rod Den's actually kind of sick for them here. That's kind of funny. Um, okay. Well. What are they even like? The Rod Den is going to get, or the Rod Den gives them like a ton of stuff. That's actually kind of wild. Huh. Hmm. hmm. Okay, fine. Didn't even actually do that math exactly i don't think they have 32 here <laughs> i guess i definitely should have frozen their face i don't know why i froze this i thought i had frozen their face i thought i already had their face frozen which is why i froze the thing I wasn't dead. They had they had 30 and we were at effectively 32 for the vice barrier. That was uh that was a pretty silly game. The the hero power druid with a 12, 12 damage hero power against freeze mage. Alright. 
warrior. Celebrate a new beginning. I kind of want to keep this against warrior. Maybe it's silly, but. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Hmm, this is... I haven't seen, like, any kind of enrage warrior. I wonder if this is just, like, Highlander playing this to, uh, activate stuff. I'm just looking to get my excavates going. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just doing this and shooting their face. I want to coin miner next turn because it gets reliquary uh, researcher online faster. What I'm having the most fun in the new expansion. Um, I don't know, there's been a, like I've really enjoyed playing Shutterblock Shaman decks. Those have been a blast for me. Okay. I think given that, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cross stitch this guy. Get my water elemental. Sure. All right, let's coin Blast Mage. They could easily uh, trial by fire me here. We're doing the same thing. Alright, I am just going to coin. I don't think I play anything else. I'm just coining. Eh, actually, I am going to play the Artificer because we have uh, Ogre Fist Boulder. And the Artificer can represent a big you know, chunk of damage. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's research her, see what we hit. Bane Barrier. Alright, I am going to coin out the Watercolor Artist to get the discount ticking on whatever it is we hit. Next thing is our, uh, our Legendary Reward. Hey, I have a Bash. So that's going to be Bellowing Flames, most likely. It could be Watcher. I'm going to go ahead and play a Snow Flurry. Oh, oops, I only had room for one. That's my bad. I screwed that up. It's fine. We do get... The Ice Trap is actually pretty sick, though. If they try and, you know, Bellowing Flames, they have to... Mm -hmm. Yep. Ok. 
Okay, so. Ooh, let's cry your face for free. Get us. The Hawk. Which gets us. Voltron. Um. There is no room for error. Do I want. I'm gonna do this. And then this. And I can. Mm. There is no room for error. And I may have screwed this up because now they can blade storm these. I'll take void scripture. Great. Absolutely fantastic. Um, let's start with Void Scripture. Mm, this just overdraws me. Is that a big deal? It overdraws me. I just don't get the original manufacturing error, right? Or which way? There will be one card. Sure. My hand is full fine. Of um. Well, let's start blasting. Um. Obviously, Reno us. Okay, or they can just die. That works too. I accept your terms. All right, this deck's felt pretty good so far. Okay, uh, I am going to keep, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a freeze effect, we have another thing we get a freeze effect, and we have a kobold. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. All right, so... I'm going to Heart Blossom this guy, freeze your face with this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, I 
Let's do this. This does let them get Window Shopper off. We could have frozen with this. We do have the star power at least, so we can clear basically whatever Window Shopper board they play. And they can't on board kill this with a Meg Ferradin for one. Okay, so it's Hunter and... Oh, they had the hidden meaning. What? They hidden meaning into a poisonous guy? What the hell? Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. That. Oh, boy. I can't believe the hidden meaning in that poisonous guy and also had this military. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, they, I mean, they played two instrument decks, so they obviously had the second grasp. That's annoying. Yep. I cannot get over that poisonous dude from a hidden meaning. I mean that was that was really just like they were able to free kill my water elemental. That was insane. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You got me. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break, I gotta run to the bathroom, I will be right back in just a couple minutes, so don't go anywhere.
All right. All right, we're gonna mulligan everything here. What the? Where is? Uh, it's right here. Okay. Oh look, all my most expensive cards. Great. Hmm. What are you doing, priest? Ah, oh, that's what you're doing. Okay, so this is like the time walk deck, I think. in there. Kyurgen, whatever it is. Uh-huh. This making this not frost boltable is real annoying. this guy up. Um, so they have two, uh, another, another, I got that. What did, what did they copy? Perplexing. Could kind of be anything. We don't really have any information. Um, I think I just hit here. Yeah, we're doing this. Okay. 
Uh, Aogar with the 35 months. Welcome back. Boom. Oh, I thought they were out of whelps. Okay. We'll have another whelp in hand. Mm -hmm. I get one of those. Sick. Just what I wanted. Could use it with the burrow last, I guess. So, if I hit Collapse, Cryopress here is insane. That's not Collapse. Okay. Do a dragon in hand. Oh, okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, and fifteen. Twenty. So they. Uh, okay, that kills me. That's twenty-one damage, right? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Oh, they hadn't even attacked yet. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Yeah. Womp womp. We just like didn't actually, you know, ever really get like uh, a chance to to keep up with their board flood of dudes. Celeste versus Fresca. You get back to work. Let us celebrate a new beginning. All right. Um. Death Knight. Yeah. Hello. Hey, where were you last game, Star Power? Okay. Hey, you're right on time. I'll freeze that guy. Uh, that guy with the bonus 
the health is really annoying here. All right, well, we're doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna just do this. Okay. Get him. Reason to star power is really powerful. I'm gonna make a All right. So are they just a, they're just a plague deck that hasn't played any plagues? Like, Plucky Paint Fin is usually a, a plague card. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. Sure. You have earned yep. They are indeed plagues. Boulder. Okay. Summoning Ward Barrier. We have the Yogg if they do have, like, Primus here. Well, I can't kill both my guys here. Very rudely. Yep. Um... I'm gonna play this guy. What do we got? We got some chill vibes. Oh yeah. Um Alright, I'm just gonna do this this this. Um. We don't really want to summon word this guy, but. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, this deck certainly wishes there was still objection around. That's for sure. Haha! -ha! Costs one more. Is 
citadel stands strong. Okay. Kind of glad they killed it, because now I still have an active summoning ward. Okay, um... Let's start with this. I'm just going to use this to gain armor so I can, well, I can finitize or I can play this another ice trap. I think I'd play another ice trap. No, infinitizing seems stronger. Yeah. Okay. I can certainly imagine this coming up and being good. Mm -hmm. They've excavated many times. Yeah, it's the second living stone, even. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna summoning ward one of these unless they like you know just randomly kill our guys. Sure. Like another snap. The stars truly align. I'm just casting it. I think. Well, I still have it in Infinitize. And their board isn't that powerful. Yeah, I just want to cast this now. Alright. Oh, oops, I thought I could tag with that guy. That was bad. They can Ruska us. This cannot be found. Yep. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and watercolor artist. Ping this. Explosive runes. Infinitize. Sure. I'm still just waiting on them playing to play Primus. We also just still haven't found any more of our uh, excavate cards, which is kind of annoying. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Well, ooh, the Mesa Dune. What's left of my deck? Watercolor, Snow Flurry, 
two glacial shards, two artificers. So much freezing frost mage over here. So, am I just going to go ahead and Yogg take this? It's probably better just Yogg have their guys fight. If I do want to do that. I could also just Star Power. They have so many things, though. Um... Hmm. You can also Calicos, which could then... I'd still have Star Power and... Uh, Frostbolt, Frostbolt available after the star power. But they have so many things. Hmm. I know star power by itself certainly won't clear. Let's Calicus. Sure. Okay, um, so let's... Hmm, we gotta collapse, that's a good one. Wow, stealing my my game plan. Yep. You ain't never seen a lot of game. Rude. Reborn, reborn. Okay. Alright, so yes. Um, sure. Oh boy, yep, there's another Ruska. We only need one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um hmm. 
still so high in life. What do you got for me? Two glacial shards. Eh. Okay. I'm jealous of them stealing my snow flurry action. Okay, it's getting to be half plagues in my deck, which we do not like. Yeah. Uh huh. Rude. Mm hmm. Okay, so they have uh, freezing trap and ice barrier. That's their ninth excavate. Have another rat to get back Reska. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Yep. Here come the plagues. That, feels good. that no longer draws anything, I don't think. Hmm. Much to ponder. Interestingly, Reska can't, like, just steal that. Which is kind of funny. Let's kill those guys with this. Eh. Like they, they could like Primus, so they still haven't played. Mm -hmm. So the, yeah, that, that that gets their Reska, but their Reska. You ain't never seen a lad like We've created a temporal. What? Family. From a keychain? 
Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. When we know that they have a freezing trap, so I can't even like steal this and attack with it effectively with the Yog. <laughs> I'll drop you like they dropped my daddy. Actually, yeah. Oh. They just flame strike their stuff. Okay. You'd make a good ghoul. Huh. Gather around everyone. It's time for a celebration. Naturalize with the plagues? Okay, hold on. Eh. That feels good. So the the naturalized drew what else is in that deck? Much to ponder. There's the Togwaggle, which trades with your deck. I don't want my deck anyway. I just died because this just attacks me. But I was trying to figure out how to how to fill my hand and not be dead. But we died. We could always just like use this. But yeah, there's, there's really not like no way. I feel like I'm getting out of that. I can't believe they got the naturalize. And yeah, they have the the that weapon. I don't really, I don't really know. Cause like I need to be able to answer their thing and fill my hand, but I have to be able to be able to like continue filling my hand every turn because they're just damaging me because I'm at too low a life. It's not just like I have to get my hand full, right? It's like I have to get my hand full and also be in a position where they can't just like kill me with the weapon and the hero power and like whatever else the uh, the druid hand has, which I totally forget what it is. So. Warrior! Let's mulligan everything. Okay. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Mm. Let's get to advancing. Ooh. Hmm.
ping. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. You burn some, you burn some. Bam. Get him. Please don't trial by fire me. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Totem? Pretty totem. Get the stone in the way. Yeah. Um. Army beasts. Does this this doesn't maintain costing zero, right? If it if it transforms into their card. Does it? I actually don't know. Much to ponder. I don't think it does. I'm just gonna take this. All this research points to something. Okay. Go. We get a Garrosh's gift. And they have a trial of fire. Rude. Oh well. You call me being rude? They are. Very much so. So we can use a trial by fire here. Or a trial of fire, a uh, star power, which should clear them. Um. Let's see what we get from this. Okay. I think I'm just doing this. I still have a explosive. I'm just attacking for one with this guy. Get him.
No plan. Oh boy. Well, uh, we will yog your guys' fight. Hem oh, it just killed my other yog. There can be only one yog, apparently. Just kidding, there can be more yogs. Um. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do this. And I sense a brawl coming along, or a Reno. Blade Storm. Okay. That wasn't particularly effective. Ah, then sanitize. Okay. Well. Guess it might as well. Well, no, give me tendies. We'll take five tendies here. Actually, well, no, that's, we can't do that. Yeah, we'll just get our five tendies. I am all around you. Well, we'll play a tendy. We know that they have a brawler, but they, they've only... They've only actually uh, excavated once so far. Just kidding. That's three times. So we get another Yogg. Uh... Take that one. I'll take that one. Hmm. We'll blast made you. Fire. Fire. Um, Fire. I think we just trade these off here. I mean, we can also just, yeah, Fire. Fire. I want to trade them off before I play additional tendies. Tendies, oh. Tendies. Tendies. Heal myself. Hit you. What? Oh, come on. I, I got that attack in. Rude. <laughs> yeah, I get a million dudes. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. I got four one ones. It just went fake. <laughs> Um, I could obviously play Star Power. Much to ponder. I'm tempted to just do this. Get my armor here. Like, I'd rather star power. Okay. Uh, we do a frost bolt at least, but. Uh huh. And this can find us more. Uh, another frost bolt, or we've already, already played both cryo presses. Mm hmm. That is sort of funny. Okay. I you. They do still have the brawler in hand. Just keep freezing, just keep freezing. Yep. Freeze your face. Play this guy. I just have to do this. Like I can't like not let his face freeze when they we know they have Ignis weapons. Even though there's just the brawler. The moment they hit boom stuff, we're just toast, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Yep. We've created a temple. Sure.
cool. Well, there is this. Give me some temp spells. We can actually get, like, shuffle the temp spells into our deck, which is kind of sick. For potential real spells. Boom. We're definitely not doing that. All right. I feel like I probably do just cast this, actually, but... Let's shuffle all the temporary spells into my deck. I don't think there's any way I beat them at 40 life with uh, everything. Well, there's Mesa Dune. I, oh, I didn't need to do that. Oops. Forgot I had this in play. Yeah. Of course, the biggest thing. And my Infinitize. TNTs off of the card draw, though. Yep. This... That no longer draws anything, because I've hit all of them. All I have left are two of the spells I shuffled in. We're dead. The day is yours. Womp. Oh, womp. They're really just like, they just aren't good. There aren't great finishers. Maybe I need like, hmm. I wonder if this deck wants like, um, like Fizzle or something. Or like, oh well. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't. I. I have so far not been super impressed by Cadgar. Maybe he's good. He seems like fine to me. This deck has no burn spells for Sif, basically, so Sif would be absolute trash. It also basically only has frost spells, which is more reason Sif would be trash. I do like the excavate stuff. I wonder if I want, like... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So far, Calicos has not seemed amazing. I have liked the, like, Frost Dude package. It's actually felt kind of good. I wonder if I want, like, some sort of... Some sort of additional ways to like, you know, just get more value off of my like, like bounce effects or copy effects like a Zola or a, um, you know, bounce things for my excavates or excavate reward. I mean, this, this came from a, just an elemental deck that was a tempo elemental deck. Um, which I was not finding to be effective. It is possible that I do just want, like, Aqua Archivist just because Aqua Archivist is such a powerful card. 
Maybe we don't bother with Artificer. Maybe, oops. Yeah, maybe we... Because that does let us play, like, these things faster, too. Let's try, like, cut this, cut, like, maybe one of these, and go back to playing the... Um, oops. The remnants. Because it does give you, it does give you finishing power. Especially if you, like, Mesa Dune into remnant or something. We have the Yogg now, which means makes star power at least, like, less, less important. Archivist also, it does give you, like, the Aqua Archivist does give you, like, more early game flexibility and, you know, ability to, like, power out some of your, you know... higher tempo turns. We have Skeet Skater for uh, for armor gain. I don't know that there's really anything else that seems exciting. We want to make sure that the things that we can hit off Mesa Dune are actually pretty good. I think that all of the ones that I have are pretty good hits. Even like Archivist off of Mesa Dune can give you some pretty pretty powerful tempo turns. We could try one Gladiator to the deck now. Let's try this. All right. I think Ragnaros is pretty bad. Shaman. Yeah, this does give us the tempo power of Archivist Remnant. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Forge something. Hmm. Pow. Can you feel the gift uh -huh. of the sun? All right, well, Tainted Remnant, you were robbed. Let's go ahead and unchain Gladiator. Draw our two. We're going to trade here at seven you. They look like a Reno deck. We have lots of freeze effects if they do have Doc Holiday. We're very, very good at that. Rude. Okay. Hmm. We don't like that. This is unfortunate. How perplexing. Hmm. I 
going to do this. Okay. Well, that's very powerful. That is a ton of damage. I believe the kids call this poggers. So yeah, Mesa doing uh doing some real work there. Um should I say go. No reason to like freeze their face and lose damage from minor right here, I think. Sure. Tumbleweed. Looks like a tumbleweed to me. Golgoneth, okay. Rude. Mm-hmm. That was strong. Does give us the ability to just chain freeze this if we want. We want to kill it though, they get the discount. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Freeze you, gain five. Play Aqua Archivist. And this gives me lots of flexibility next turn with Snow Flurry. Mm hmm. Okay. Sure. I do have lots of freeze effects here. Um, I will play this one. Those kind of suck. Um, freeze you. Play this one. Freeze you. Go. I've yet to... Oh, there's their Yogg. Okay, they can Yogg make me fight. And I can Yogg steal their Yogg. Oh, they Yogg stole. Okay. Interesting. Ew. Sure. Um... Oh. You guys fight. Oh boy. 
let's cast the summoning word to copy one of these when it dies. Go. Hmm. And we even got an excavate off of it, which is kind of sick. Okay. They have the they they have a copy of the of the sleet skater. They could triple armor gain. Ooh, triple ignis. Triple ignis is kind of funny. I mean, they can get there. Um. Like I can just freeze them. Like I have so many freeze effects, right? They might be going for like, you know, one cost that uh, is poisonous, death rattle, so they can clear me. I feel like I just go for tendies here. I get so many tendies. All right, we're doing it. Uh, so pouch, glacial shard. Your face, Frostbolt, this. Coin, coin. Tendies. Something happened that my board failed, apparently. Okay. That's kind of annoying, because I want to play all these tendies. Hmm. Tendy. Tendy. Sure. Oh, weird that they didn't get either the thing or... Alright, guys, fight. That was so strange. I didn't get either with the thing or... Okay. I'm in the weird situation. Yep, that's what that's what I was assuming was happening, was that they were going to get that. Which is one of the reasons that I was just like, I just want to generate value from these. Uh-huh. It's very sad that I didn't get to do all those tendies because my board just got randomly filled. Very rude. Alright. Yeah, seems about right. Mm. Rude. Okay, so they do have a 10 cost weapon. I have a cryo prez. I did burn a burrow buster. We only have, we still have snow flurry left as well. That'll get blown up. We also obviously have double researcher still. Sure. And they're gonna win three life still up in me. Sure. Death Rattle dudes, yep. All fine. Dr. Holiday, yep. They do still have it. Hmm. Four cost. Five cost. Ooh. Kind of would prefer the other one, but. Six cost. Researcher.
Infinitize. More cryo presses, please. Research is certainly substantially worse with that objection. I do not think it's bad, though. Not counterspell. Mm hmm. Certainly could have been a lot better there. Um, let's cryopress your face. Let's rewind. Let's take cryopress. Um, a revelation. They still have Reno. All right. Let's do this. Dance with a dragon. Dance with a dragon. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I do get. That's kind of funny because I get it, and then that triggers. Okay, we are going to start. There's another cryo threat. Let's start with Void Scripture. Let's flame strike you. Let's ping this guy, frost lich, cross stitch this guy, cryo press your face. Give me eight eights in two turns. It is unfortunate that Reno will unfreeze them. They killed none of them. I accept those terms. Okay. Eh, okay. They're in a one card. Um, again, this pops next turn. We're 100% casting. Well, I guess it's not 100%, because maybe we want this. Maybe we get it off of this. Sure, we'll play this guy. We get Frostbolt here. We just got Cryopress. We'll Cryopress off of that. Sure. Oh, I guess... Does this go away before the infinite size? Hmm. Meh. Yeah, 
looks like it would go away before Infinitos. So yes, not that it mattered there, but. Okay. Hey, we got him. That was a very interesting game. We got to do a lot of cool stuff. I like this deck. Maybe this should just be, this should just be value mental, not not control mental. All right, uh, let's mull in everything. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like having having access to the archivist uh, archivist remnant threat was very, very valuable for sure. Put our opponent in the back foot rather than us just like kind of sitting around twiddling our thumbs. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Hmm. I'm just gonna kill this. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna play this. Like we can't use unless we hit, you know, Horn of Winter. We can't use the things, but we get the one cost guy in our hand, which has value in itself, and we get to save the Frostbolt for a later time. Um, we're gonna go ahead and watercolor artist. Start getting our discounts on. You have earned eh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to watercolor artist again. I'm going to glacial shard this. And go face. The, 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 uh, Helia is particularly annoying because it makes our, our powerful card draw like gladiator much weaker. Mm-hmm. Sure. Now what is he doing? Oh, yeah, okay, well. So, you just took two extra damage because you attacked into that thing. That was just a pretty clear error on their part. Um... I'm going to play this guy. Okay. Let's hit you with this. Ping you. Horn of Winter, Cold Feet you, Cryo Preservation this.
Okay. Let's go ahead and blast mage. Frog this hit you. They could coin a Primus here. You know that is a two. Yep. Pile of Bones is not a common inclusion in these these days. That's a three. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, all right, well. That's a Drake. Drake is good. It's not quite like big enough. We can clear this, but there's then there's still the one power guy. Or the one health guy, which we can't deal with on board. Um This is interestingly an elemental. I think this is still my best bet is clear off this guy. Freeze that guy. We are in a weird spot where like because there's so many plagues, you know, they put so many plagues in there quickly. Gladiator's awkward. Two, yep. Ooh, cleave guy. This can't even get me Blizzard. This could get me... It could get me um, Relentless Winner. <laughs> Just what I wanted. Frozen over. This can discover my plagues. Well, I'm dead. Plagues. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they just had, like, so many plagues so fast into my deck. You know, they had Chain Guardian on, like, turn 5 or 6 or whatever for 1 mana. And, yeah, we were just in a really, really terrible spot. Oh well. Celeste versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let us celebrate a new beginning. Um, we're going to eat Miner first. Hello. 
Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Good archivist. Okay, well, Archivist into Remnant. What? What? They're also... Are they... Is this just someone in the chat? Hello? Is that one of you people? Why'd you concede? Why'd they concede? Death Knight. We'll just keep the cryo press. Double watercolor. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? Death comes. Hmm. No, I'm just going to ping one of them. Freezing one of those is kind of silly. Obviously, it does advance us, but... My blood for the it does give them a corpse, I guess. That's... Hmm. I wasn't expecting them to be... Uh, blood. Interesting. I wonder if this is like a Highlander deck. I'm going to go ahead and coin a watercolor. Yep. <clears throat> Always hell yeah. A B H. Always be hell yeah ing. That's annoying. My excavate, my precious excavate. Snowflare being able to give me cryopreds is a really nice element of how this deck functions. You know, like even if I do lose my... Okay. And serve your king. Fine. Come on. I'm just going to Mace a Dune. Yes! Let's kill this guy. Double Tainted Remnant! One more death can't hurt. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just the hell yeah, I've run so many plagues already. Cool, cool. This is every, every discover effect from every, like, this is clearly, you know, rainbow, right? Helia is, uh, unholy. They've already played Hematurge and now Frost Strike, so. Rude? All right. I'm gonna do this. They haven't really spent many corpses, so like even if they're like a you know Rainbow C and E, they've only really played Army of the Dead and Hematurges. And this now, I guess. Uh -huh. Sure. Yep. I can steal this and hit this. Is that even worth? I can play this. I'm gonna do, yeah. Snope. We have so many hits, you know, options here. Um, yeah, let's play the second one. Those are mostly bad. Sure. We'll go ahead and cross stitch this guy. Frost bolt this guy. Say go. This is a terrible position against uh, Hollow Hound if they have it. We still haven't found a second excavate because they dirty ratted one of them. We have a water elemental in play, which makes the weapon less scary, but they could have got like Might of Menethil, which we'd need to freeze with Glacial Shard or Frostbolt. Can't this thing dance any faster? Yep. Mm hmm. Okay, that's an excavate. We'll play a researcher. Freeze your face. That guy does get blown up, which is probably good for them, unfortunately. We just get the buff instantly. We do have Yogg if they have like an individual giant thing. Your souls belong to the 
sure, man. Okay, um, so I can freeze their face, freeze that guy. I'll gain the nine, freezing this. Like kind of order lulling, but ah, uh, okay. Let's do that and say go. All right. Take a good look. You ain't never seen a lot again. Funnily enough, it's double buff, so it doesn't actually kill my guy. It doesn't actually die. We can yog that. We can obviously kill our own guy. <laughs> of course, that one. Never not getting plagued. Hoping we hit that guy, which we don't. Cool. Why do you think Plague is so strong right now? I don't think Plague is particularly strong right now. I think Plague is popular because it's a deck that doesn't require new cards and is good against Reno decks. And there's, you know, lots of people like to play slower controlling decks because they find them to be more fun and those are weak against Plague decks, but the Plague decks are generally quite weak against faster decks in the current environment. Okay. Okay, so the miner the miner gets me the reward. What do we got? Oh. Um I think I just heal. Much to ponder. I bestow these gifts upon the world. The magic of life. We'll just play this because it enables this. Um, we also have Summoning Ward for this if they don't kill it, you know? They've already played Resco. They haven't played Excavate cards or anything. Sick. We got ourselves a Snake Oil. Uh, I would expect some changes to come to the, uh... Aggro Demon Hunter deck, the temp, uh, you know the uh, uh, Umpire's Grasp deck. Umpire's Grasp is just a silly card. 
I mean, I talked about it in my card review that it was just like, this is a card that does two of the most powerful things that you can do, which is... Okay. So they still have to swing, right? Yeah. Still have to hit this. Okay. Yeah, you get you gotta leave the, you gotta kill that guy. Well, funnily enough, we do something where a six one of that guy. Cool. Um Yeah, let's kill your guy. It guarantees your guy dies. We'll tainted remnant you. Get these and freeze your face. But yeah, like it draws cards, it tutors cards, and it, it's cost reduction. All of these are just like among the most powerful things you can possibly do. So. All of that in one card that is efficiently costed is unsurprisingly going to be kind of outrageous. They've already played their Reska, and they're not excavating, so... Sure, you're still frozen. They can get Might of, uh, Might of Menethil here to freeze my guys. Grimewalker hero power, okay. Let's give us another one of these. All this research points to something. Uh, I don't know. None of these are good. I don't have any mechs left for this. Sure. I'm doing this just so I can do this. And then festival security it. Um I don't know if you're kind of interesting. Okay. Alright. Sure. Got nine on board, they're at sixteen. We have three here, Infinitize, Synthesize, and Synthesize giving us one, two, and three. It gives us a lot of flexibility to try and get more stuff from Infinitize as well. They do have C&E, okay. It's a little surprising considering they didn't really have that much in the way of um, spenders, but okay. I guess the Mon Pa, but... Uh, well, that could just put me in a really bad spot, because... Sure... Um, what do we have that could get me out of this now? We do have, uh, Snowflake that could find Blizzard. I'm going to trade this first thing. Let's synthesize. Let's infinitize. Well, this is very unfortunate.
I'm not dead. I'm very close to dead. Well, they do have another weapon, so yeah, I'm basically just dead. Yep, we die. That was a really weird game. Like, they just had, like, endless discover effects. And, like, the soul stealer that they discovered wrecked me. And then, like, they just had C&E when they were about to die. Weird. Alright, um, well we have Archivist into Remnant. We'll just keep that. Hello there. Enjoying the festivities. Hello there. Boop. That totem is going down. Boom wrench. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I guess let's do this first. Yeah. Freeze your wrench. Do you have this in a bit? Okay. I'll buster your guy. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and I mean, this is like this deck is largely built around being controlling with a lot of elements for, you know freezing umpire's grasp and such but having the ability to have the archivist draw that just like puts a ton of pressure on people is just extremely powerful you open a golden headless horseman nice that's sick Let the games begin. Let us celebrate a new beginning. Um, boop. One mulligan, everything. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know if these are just like people in the chat who keep conceding to me in these mage mirrors, but. Murphy Leet with the 50 months. Much appreciated. Gotta wait till Thursday for your deck reveal. What deck reveal? I assume you're talking about the... Uh, the Elder Dragon Hijinx deck reveal, which I am not involved in. That's... 
That is Olivia's other channel. Let's mulligan this hand. All right. I'm just playing for pressure against uh, Warlock here. Thought they said Commander Helm was doing it. No, we do not have one. They may have misspoken, but we don't. We don't have one. Okay, so even better. Just hitting you. Is this sludge and wheels? It's unfortunate. I really appreciate them going face because it makes Tainted Remnant much less bad here. What? We... Seven. We just missed it. You just didn't... I mean, I, I'm, I'm here talking how about it makes Tent of Remnant less bad, and here Tent of Remnant is being awful. Not even killing that. Alright. I mean, the good news is it gives us a target for this. I anticipate that this is Waste Remover, considering they're willing to just play this that turn instead of Barrel of Sludging this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, the weirdest of the four months. Elemental Mage or Elemental Shaman, which you like more? I think Elemental Mage has, is, like, more dynamic, more interesting to me. Oh, boy. I'm so doomed. That guy's frozen, at least. Nothing here is good. We know they have double sludge in hand. A fruit that treats as sweet as me. Cool. Much to ponder. I'm probably just dead. Everything about that sucked.
You're like, I'm just dead there. Activate this. I, I needed to like, play the Frostbolt there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Womp womp. Yeah, I mean. Bludgeon Reels into Waste Remover with the Forge of Wills. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, um, I don't want double snow flurry. Hello there, enjoying the festivities. Ahoy. Ahoy. Mm hmm. Okay, interesting. Not what I'm expecting then. Okay. So this is clearly not just the aggro deck, this is something else. I'm just gonna go ahead and play one of these. Ah, uh, only could cry out. Rude. Okay. Um. Oh. Sure. Eh. It's probably really hard to use this. Do I just want this? I have a, I have a good... Eh, I am going to take this. It's certainly hard to use there, but it's also quite powerful. That toy was made just uh -huh. for me. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I want to take that seven, that's for sure. I'm the perfect toy for you. Mm hmm. Release me. Of course. They're the ones who are at 10.
Mm-hmm. Well, they're never going to get to swing that weapon, basically. So, let's go ahead and cryopress their face. I will world pillar, for sure. I will take a mountain giant. Okay. I am released! I am released. Yep. Just buff him. They've got a lot of mountain giants now. Okay. Are you enjoying your mountain giants? <laughs> Well, that worked. It looked like they were trying to play like a control version of that, which pretty clearly uh, does not have quite the same oomph as the like aggro tempo version. That's for sure. All right, I think we're gonna play like one more game, and then I think we're gonna call it a stream. I'm hungry. Elspeth does get a treat. Uh, Frostbolt is not in the Hall of Fame, no. Frostbolt is currently in standard. It's in the core set. Let's... Mulligan everything. I will show you true sacrifice. Hello. Hello. Enjoying the festivities? Ice Lance is... Well, I mean, so the Hall of Fame was a thing back when there was the classic set. The Hall of Fame isn't really a thing anymore because there's a core set. And the core set rotates with every with, with every year. So there's not quite the same like, oh, well, th this card is in the Hall of Fame now because things just come in and out of the core set. So there's it's an unnecessary concept. Uh, Jay Divery. Divery, thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Also, Clination with the one year. Much appreciated. Watercolor artist has been fairly sweet. Oko, don't lick your paw. Okay. Yeah. Bonk. Uh, I didn't even know there was a, there was a uh, achievement for watercolor activa uh, activating multiple times 
It has not yet happened to me, that I can tell. I've mostly cast them when they've had a disc cut or two. How do you counter plagues and not seemingly have gone? Kill your opponent. There's no, like, there. You, you could use, like, Tony to, like, swap decks. If you really, if you, you know, really want to, uh, do something like that, but. There is no, other than that, there's no specific way to get there, you know, to get plagues out of your deck. Don't plague me, bro. That's it. You actually have to say, don't plague me, bro. That's the, the way that you manage it. You Let's just blast you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Bit rude, but... Um... Hmm. I'm gonna do this. No, we're gonna play just we're just playing this. Last mage. Rude. Um Yeah, this is fine. I want to. I need to save the cryopres. I could like cryopres that to try and like not look into the life, but I need to save this in case they do play like Primus, so I can freeze it until I can yog it. Um, you know what? We could have played the Living Stone, which, which would have Tainted Remnant on. like the Costco version of ice. I mean, this is, I, I just got the ice from Costco because I order it in bulk. <laughs> but it's the regular ices. I, have, I don't know if I tried the a, a, a Costco brand version of them. We only need one. Rude. All right, what have we in this hawk? Yep. Um, I'm going to do this. Because they have Chain Guardian or whatever into Chain Guardian can protect my guys. It's also uh, an elemental to turn Tainted Remnant on. I don't think you want Zola. I think you'd rather just like focus on having individually powerful things. But... So they could have... Oh, they have Rust. Jeez, that sucks. 
Yeah. Okay, rude. Take a good look. You ain't never seen a match. Sure. Of course. Um. Huh. Am I just playing Yogg, stealing this, attacking? This has already died now, so it's in their thing. I could also like ping this and just play Tainted Remnant. That's a pretty big board. Yeah, I think we're just doing this. I could also, yeah, I have to steal this. Let's see what Yogg does. Oh no. Come on. What the hell was that? Okay, well, it healed their guy, and then I got to steal it back, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, okay. The <laughs> yeah. I can I can freeze that basically forever. So, but it's it does put me in an awkward spot. Um Does it even draw anything? Oh, there's a frost bolt. Okay. All this research points to all right. I see the problem is they're at three on excavate, and they can get Reska back, like with you know life steal at any time now. My pain doesn't compare to your play. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> I'm really in the market for Snow Flurry to try and find, uh, more, you know, more like cryo prizes in particular. That's annoying. Okay. I don't really want to use like boulder. Uh, it's such an awkward position. I think maybe I do just like Frostbolt. Yeah. This will be zero next turn.
But yeah, like the problem with like I, you know using say like glacial shard plus boulder. Okay. Is excavates. Yep. Yep. What? Why do you even have that? You have so much late game in a deck like this. Why do you have hearth? What's going on? Sure, man. Sure. Didn't even kill any of the ones. That's cool. That's cool. Everything is awful. Sob story is correct. Oh! You know what? Sure. I guess I should have done that earlier, but... Oh, okay, so the plague deck gets to brand cold light me. Cool. Exceedingly, exceedingly cool. And all I drew were plagues! What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, okay. I do like this deck. It's got some cool things going on. It is certainly not good against plagues, because you don't kill people fast enough. There's got to be some other, like, you know, other options. Oh, unconvinced of the Gladiator. Like, I feel like you have a lot of, you know, card generation. You don't necessarily need this. I'm just trying one of them. Um, I didn't really like the Calicos when I was trying Calicos, but maybe, maybe you do want, you know, just some other, like, big thing. There's just, like, there's not, like, a great, like you know, this is how you close out the game sort of thing. I mean, maybe you do want, like, something like a bounce effect for, you know, or a Zola sort of effect for your, uh, your, your expert reward, or, I mean, even just, like, for some of the, the battle cries that you have could be pretty powerful. I don't know. Definitely some interesting, interesting options, but... I do feel like you're kind of, like, lacking great ability to actually close out the game. I had, I had, uh, what's it, star power in the deck, and star power felt, like, medium at best. Maybe I play, like, one star power instead of the gladiator. I don't like having cards that are, like, purely, purely, purely reactive in this deck. Because I like the ability to, like, pivot against control decks and not just be sitting there with a bunch of removal in my hand, you know? Like, I don't think Norganon is good enough to play. Maybe we try... Let's play Let's play a game with the Cadgar in our deck. And then we'll call it a stream. We haven't tried him yet. He could be cool. Celebrate a new beginning. I'll keep this hand.
Hello there. Enjoying the festivities? One dose solves any problem. Hmm. Okay. Change Let's kill one of them. Get him. Okay, we killed one of them. Cool with that. Now they may just... Uh, I'd rather kill this one, I think. Because now they can just play Umpire's Grasp and punch my guy. If, if your plan is just punch my guy, I'm into it. Is this really better than nothing? All right. Um, I'm going to kill this guy. And we have a water elemental. Oh boy. Okay. S stealth. <laughs> Come on. Give me a break. All right. This turns on this. They're frozen. Seems this guy might struggle. Okay. This guy's just gonna double to 24 here. And I'm just gonna... It's the end of your turn damages you? And the start... What the hell? The stealth thing. I'm just dead. Much to ponder. I can put them to one. Give me a rock. Just give me a rock. Uh, either rock or heart blossom was legal, lethal, or legal. Literally one damage off lethal. Uh-huh. Like, if we hit half of the, the things for that, we win. If they don't hit stealth, we're clearly winning. If they don't have this, we win. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Ellie's coughing in the other room. Ellie! <laughs> Hi, girl. I'm the perfect toy for you. Are they are they literally just sitting here and, and, and doing all this nonsense? And just not gonna, you know, just waiting to attack me for 24 with their 24 power creature? 
Fisher King Canada with the six months. Welcome back. Wow, you found it. You did it. Congratulations. Alright, we're playing one more because that was incredibly stupid. Keeping well, actually, I'm gonna keep archivist and cryopres. I don't want two archivists. This isn't this isn't a, a deck that really takes advantage of them, you know, in that way. Hello there, enjoying the festivities. Mm. We'll chill on the shard here. We don't just want to like, you know, play shard and have them just hero power it. Yep. Animosis with the 29 months. Welcome back. Kapow. I'm going to go ahead and coin Buster. Buster guy up. Buster face up. Okay. I will Heart Blossom this guy. Okay. Like, I can ping their guy, or take your face, glyph your face. You know, take that gives me two. I mean, I can canary this. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Um, well. Let's freeze your 3-3. Three, three. Let's hit your face. Let's Drake. This guy, Breeze. This guy. Sure. Oh, this is going to be Tomb Trader. Yeah. Oh, that's not Tomb Trader. Okay. So. Let's see where these go. Okay.
Um. Yeah. They have only put a few plagues into my deck, so they're trying like. The runes no. Yep. We can freeze this, get a get a colossal. Fortunately, it's only a four, so. Mhm. Mm so this gets a colossal. We have multiple freezes, so this is not really gonna be able to do anything else. So how many how many plagues they put into my deck? Six. Mm, they can still have um. Yeah, I think I just do this for damage. Okay. So this this draws. Uh, either frost. Mm -hmm. This draws either frost bolt or um, cross stitch. Cross stitch we would not win with because we'd be a mana off. Uh huh. Frost Plague does not have the type Frost. And of course they hit blood. And of course they hit blood again! The fuck was that? A frosted treat as sweet as me. What do you got for me? Uh huh. <laughs> Why not freeze Helia? Why freeze Helia? This can get them, you know. This is like much, much scarier than Helia is. Freezing the, the, the Titan. Ah. We did it. After all that, we still did it. Oh my god. Whoo. That was nearly so tilting. <laughs> it's just like immediately dropped blood plague, blood plague. Oh boy. All right, chat. Like I said, that is going to be our final game for the day. Uh, this deck was fun. I definitely feel like this is uh, feels better than just like straight up. Hey, I'm just playing elementals every turn. I feel like the the payoff of you know the Azurite Giant and uh, Surger just were not really um, were not really good enough to justify like playing you know basically all minions um, and having that sort of curve. So anyway, um, I will be back tomorrow. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll find some in a raid. And yeah, see you Tuesday. Bye.
I'm doing that. Six. Wait, I'm doing.